What's up guys? Welcome back to some more Resident Evil. So, let's get this. Right, we can pull you out. We can combine you two. Throw you in with how much freaking... I'm just happy I didn't have to use that this time. We'll come out that and use that though. Uh, pull out the ammo. Still keep the lock picks, got the ammo on me, okay. Sewers map. Okay, so we got there's a lab and an office. And a security room. Okay. A map of the area. Perfect. Now it's safe. I'm kinda happy I saved when I did because I had a feeling he was gonna do something and I wasn't gonna be able to get through. You. Yeah, there's a bag there. This is... There's a door right there for it. Okay. There's the door into that for that other pouch. Gonna make sure I'm not listening to any bobbleheads. I probably already missed quite a few. I'm guessing that can only be kicked down. that way. <sighs> Increased sewer security. We've been receiving reports of unauthorized personnel in the control areas of the fa facility. In response, we are replacing uh, the aging mechanical locks and implementing new security protocols. Unlocking the new electrical electronic locks requires a special made battery pack to be distributed to all employees. Please keep your personal battery pack on hand at all times when moving throughout the facility. Of course it does. Ugh, door won't budge. Looks like it needs a power source. Who the hell would do that to us? Who would beef up the sewers? If someone wants to be in the sewers, let them be in the sewers. No normal person would be down here. Oh god. I'm definitely burning this closed. Oh please don't tell me it's gonna be those creeps from the the second game. I hate those things so much. Okay, so it's a straight line. Or oh, actually no it isn't. Oh there's a Another battery pack required. Oh, that's the... Uh, okay, that's over there. Oh, so that's the security room that had the hip pouch. Okay.
Oh, hand grenade. Oh, thank you. Those hand grenades, I'm going to be keeping those puppies because those things are amazing against Big Boy. We got one way. This way goes to the office, that way goes. Let's go to the office first. What the hell is that thing? That's what I want to say. He went through what? An entire 33 clip? 33 bullets of ammo? Grenade launcher. Invoice for gun shop kendo. Thank you for purchasing the 6X grenade launcher. We made special adjustments to this piece to ensure compatibility with a variety of ammunition types for optimal performances. Be sure to choose the right ammo for the right situation. As we discussed at the time of purchase, this is a refurbished model and the chamber needs to be manually cycled between shots. It'll take extra moment, an extra moment, but this is reflected in the price as we agreed. Handwritten notes on reserve. Explosive rounds, explosive A times two. Flame rounds, explosive A plus explosive B. Acid rounds, explosive B times two. Mine rounds can be readied Mine rounds can't be readily crafted. Not worth stocking up on. Can't help if we need to keep the gammas in line. Research assistant logs. Uh, March 4th. Water temperature 18 Celsius. Fahrenheit level 6.8. Gammas released from tank for the first time. Movement sluggish. Combat potential low. The gammas are what they're called. April 18th, water temperature 20 Celsius, pH level 6.8. Experimental with additional hormones and drugs. One, ad one adjustment bore positive resorts with a significant rise in combat potential. Specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. Hey, do not let it get near me. Uh, June 30th, water temperature 22 Celsius, pH level 6.2. Umbrella has officially shut down Gamma Research. We managed to smuggle some specimens with especially high potential from the lab before disposal. Dr. Logan Carlesley? Carsley? Carlesiel. Carlesiel is more committed than ever to perfect perfecting the Gamma line. August 14. Water. March, April, June. August. <coughs> August 14th, water temperature 25 Celsius. 25 Celsius with pH level 5.8. Two weeks since relocating to the sewers, increased temperatures have led to a decrease in water quality, but specimens appear fine despite my concerns. Commons quickly learned the layout of the sewers, and within two days, while are exploring the entire underground of Raccoon City. All specimens are familiar with and friendly towards us, but I have per Procured high-powered weaponry as a safeguard in event that they become uncontrollable. 
September 1st, water temperature 23 uh, Celsius, pH level 6.1. We are lucky to secure this place by bribing the sewage department chief, but it's beginning to feel cramped due to the Gamma's continued growth. We should begin to consider other possible arrangements. September 9th, water temperature 21 Celsius with, six, with a pH level 6.1. Water temperature, a water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the Gamma's promptly eliminated him. This proves their viability to field or field us field use and I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps they will see the light. Lose of B. Combat knife is not going to be all that really helpful here. Yeah, we'll keep the grenade there for the time being. Right, now let's save. Is that everything in this room? Yes, it looks like it. Okay, so one of these... Nice, so one of them will kill one. That's good to know. When I get their mouth open, I just shoot them with a the flamethrower around. So there's two ways. There's the lab, and then there's this way. I don't know what rounds I was using, but it looks like they were flame rounds. And those are super effective. <clears throat> At least we got to the lab safely. Gunpowder. Gunpowder. Explosive A. Combine these two. 
Make more shotgun shells. And what was it again? Is it on? Apartment building downtown. So, A and B does flame routes. That's what I want. Okay. Love letters? My little darlings, it's already been three months since we fled here together. I find myself thinking back to the day you hatched. Your little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little bodies brimming with incredible destructive power. And, of course, that voracious instabital appetite. Insatiable. Insatiable appetite. I can't read. <laughs> um, you are no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series. Oh, great. Hunter series. And yet, they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit for use as weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities. So what if you're susceptible to heat? So what if your delicate, delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? Haven't you ever heard of a character flaws? It is those they fl it is those very flaws that make you so very very precious to me. But we'll show them yet. Down here we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path together. We'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved hunter Gamas, are truly superior. Oh, there's still stuff in here. Still in here. Oh, the battery pack. Oh, shoot. Oh, great. Inventory's full. Uh, I'm guessing I'm running back. Run all the way back to the office. I hope I can run back to the office without anybody running into... without me running into any of them. Flame rounds. For you. Keep you. These are going to be useful. For you. For you. Load all you. For the time being, I will restore the health as well. There was a typewriter in here. Yes, there was. Right, now let's go grab the battery. We got the lab. Oh, well, there's flame rounds right there and a battery. Brings us to that. everything in here now? Yep, it is. Okay. But it looks like that's not the everything that's in this corridor. Looks like that one finally dissolved. And 
because I didn't have a freaking... They were workers' notes. It happened again. They got Kane this time. I saw it all. One of those things just swallowed him whole, head to toe. I tried to warn them when Bill went missing two weeks back. The cops said he'd probably skipped town, but I said no way, not with his baby coming any day. But did they listen? No. This is bullshit. Effing, puke breathing, toad face mother effers. Every time I think I've lost them, another one pops out of the tunnels. And it's not like I can count on the effing cops. Don't trust those pencil pushers at HQ either. Next time one of those freaks shows its face, I'm going to hit it right in its big ugly mouth. And now that's everything. Alright. They're easier to kill than the, the the ones in Resident Evil 2, but I will say one thing, they are more uglier and disturbing than the ones in Resident Evil 2. Hands down. I don't need to go to the lab anymore. I just need to go here. Go up to the, the safe lab. I kind of can't get that because I have to... You see, can't get back up this way. Oh, maybe there's a ladder here that brings us to this. No clue. Oh, shoot. See you later, suckers. Yeah. That was disgusting. Oh, I see. I know what I need to do now. I knew it wasn't over just yet. Do that. And then we grab the battery back. battery pack in here. I'm going to the security room to get the pouch. Yay. And gunpowder. And anything else in here? Yes, there is. There's explosive A. And that's it.
Okay, so that's how I got back down. Okay. I probably missed a lot of bobbleheads. I didn't find a single one in here. There's probably like three or five each area. That's fine with me. I'm just trying to enjoy the game at the moment. I heard it. What are the odds of me literally talking about him and I freaking hear him and see him? Holly. Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. Subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. Okay, well, so, oh, not saving content. Oh. Okay, so, we're going to call this episode right here because I want to see if I can actually down him. So, be back on the next episode, guys. Stay tuned.